It was only late August when this footage was taken, so <laughs> that leaf there is from last fall. It's been sitting on my display shelf, staring at me and screaming, paint me. I'm speaking figuratively. Uh, sure, I mumble while arting and complain about death by a thousand video cuts while editing, but I haven't lost my mind yet. A check in again, this time next year, though. <laughs> Later in this video, I'll talk a bit about what's coming up for fall content here at Inkworks. But first, let me explain what's going on with this project. This is a mixed media piece using watercolor, ink, and colored pencil. For paper, I chose Fluid 100 Cold Press. To sketch the leaf, I went with a Polychromos colored pencil in Burnt Ochre. The painting portion started by creating watery pools of M. Graham's Quinacridone Rust and Daniel Smith's Duochrome Autumn Mystery. Both of those colors were gifted by a kind viewer. After wetting the paper, uh, just the leaf area, mind, I simply plopped down some dabs of color with a half-inch oval wash brush. And I let that dry, or maybe I helped it along with a hair dryer. That's, uh, that's a little watercolor secret there. Keep a hair dryer in your studio. But yeah, after that was dry, then I sketched the lines of the leaf using the walnut ink. Uh, and I used a glass dip pen for that. There were other options. I mean, I could have used a fine liner, or I could have used a fountain pen, or even one of those um, brush pens that I recently got. Uh, yeah, I mean, a number of different options to have added uh, uh, line work. But I, I definitely wanted to use uh, the walnut ink, and I thought, oh, I hadn't used my glass dip pen in a while, so I pulled that out and had fun with it. So one of the projects I'd like to do during this month of September is to assemble a 12-color autumnal watercolor palette, just using colors I already have. So it would be specially curated for fall-specific arting. I haven't done that before and figured it could be an interesting challenge. That would need to be spread over several videos since I'd want to show all of the processes, including color selection from multiple brands, pouring paint into half pans, creating a swatch chart, and then creating a painting using those colors. And if all goes well and there's enough interest in the series, we will then send that palette to one lucky viewer. So that's the plan for this month of September 2022. I hope to get some other fallish stuff up this month as well as in October. Because I definitely want to play with gouache again, I'm planning another three video series creating small Halloween pieces using that medium. I'm also toying with the idea of another paper doll series. The last one was two years ago, and I think we could have fun with a creepy costumes theme. Anyway, if any of those ideas interest you, make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications set to all. You might be kicking yourself later if you don't. Just saying. I had thinned the ink a bit and brushed in the shadows, once again using the half-inch oval wash. I also layered in some darker full-strength areas, and 
did that walnut ink not look delicious in the dish? I just wanted to slurp that up, uh, but I didn't because toxins. I don't know what all is inside that jar, but I do know that walnut ink is for arting, not drinking. Speaking of drinks, I've got five bucks left on a Starbucks gift card that I've been saving for months. Yeah, I've been holding on to it for when I could get a pumpkin spice latte. And it is now officially PSL season. Yay! With a size zero round brush, I applied line work with the walnut ink. Uh, then I emphasized. I emphasized the shadows using a polychromos colored pencil in walnut. I didn't use any blending powder because I liked the look of the sketch-like lines. Sure, I could sit here and critique the thing, but really, who cares? The purpose was to create some fall feels, and in that sense, it was a success. Until next time, remember, fall's a-comin', and stay artsy, my friends. <laughs>